this video will be called the fall of Europe and so I'm going to run through the graph here that shows you that the European population had been growing until um, I don't know if this started this year I believe it would have been this year because I'm sure I looked at the uh, world, world Almaner last year and um, if you look at the number where it says live there's 70, 741 million six hundred and fifty six thousand eight hundred and twenty four on the graph at the bottom where it says European population 1950 to 2023 at the beginning of the year uh, the European population was 742 million 272 thousand 652 they have dropped a million plus people from the beginning of the year to this present day and we're watching that number 23 is going to turn to 22 those are registering deaths in Europe not births because it's going backwards the the population you have to have 2.1 2.3 2.2.1 2 to 2.1, excuse me, in order to grow a population. Europe has been stagnant since the 50s. They have been under 1% or 1 or 1 or below 1. Alexa, resume. So, right up in here, they get about to that 1. 1.1% 1, 1 in 1959. Uh, they were at a 1.01. Well, okay, you have to have a 2.2 a 2 or 2.2 2, 2, 2 2.1. Every female has to replace herself and her partner. This is definitely not happening here. As we go down this bell curve, I'm going to call it the bell curve, since people like to use that term when it comes to acuity and intelligence. The IQ means the intelligent quotient. And they try to put this number on the intelligence quotient. Well, the intelligent quotient goes with the acuity to survive the planet. The most peop the most intelligent people has the acuity to survive the planet. Okay? It's not all this fake knowledge, fake news, white genocide, replacement theory. This is a natural occurrence. It's called natural selection. When you're naturally selected, go and Google that. Go and Google that. Because this is something that's very serious. While you're waving the Trump flag, you're waving that you're a uh, uh, Republican. Oh, you're white supremacist. Well, whiteness, that phony social construct that you're looking for white nationalism that you'll never get because you're not white. You're Europeans, respectively. I say it humbly. And look what's going on. That number is declining. It's, you can see it declining here. Look, where that little dip is beyond that. Does that say minus? 
minus 0.05%. You're falling below the scale here. Okay. When it was saying this in the past, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, it minus 0 0.5, it was ticking up, not down. Look. 2008, 0.25, they're climbing, only to come back to decline again and again and again. At 2020 and 2020, it's 0 0.0. That's the only thing that explained to me why this number is falling down, falling backwards. Because look, minus 0 0.14 in 2021. Let's look at 2022. Minus 0 0.2022. 22. Minus 0 0.22. Last year, because this year they haven't posted this yet, the population for this year. Where it is, it's going on this year, but it's by this count when they put everything together for next year for us to look for it, look at it. But we are watching it live as it manifests so that it's proof, it's showing you the evidence. It's not something that's just you're looking at the page or they're just telling you this. You're watching it live. The number declining. Minus 0.17%. People are dying. They're not being born. If this doesn't give you a lens to being woke, to awaken to what's going on. All of this hate-filled stuff doesn't go with it. There's no white genocide. There's no replacement. You didn't replace yourselves. No other mother's blood can replace you. We can only help you. And that's with admixy. But you don't want that either. But you don't want to have children. And children are not being born in Europe. It's so few children being born that the ones that are, people that are dying are outpacing the children being born. So we're seeing now people dying. Life. The war against the universe and the Europeans. What is going on here? That you don't see this for what it is. It's going backwards, not forward. I showed you two others. Two other population growth records. They're so embarrassed that it used to tell you that Europe ranked number two in the population, number three in the population. I have several videos where I pointed that out. So out of shame, this is critical race theory. They don't want you to know. But let's go with critical reality theories. Where this is real, it's really happening. And this is not propaganda, this is real. 
if Europe is declining, Europe is the the blood bank. It is the hub. It is the manu the woman factoring of white people that comes from Europe who later on leave Europe and take on this false new identity. I'm Christian. I'm Republican and the oldest one, the biggest destroyer, I'm white. Not that I'm French, I'm German American, I'm French American, I'm Italian American. All I can say is I'm African American. Until I got my DNA, I could say I am Sierra Leonean American. Because that's where my blood bank is. Okay, that suits, fits my population. So I could say, I'm Mende American. I don't have to uh, be in the race to the majority because I'm already part of the majority. I'm already part of the majority. When we break our populations down, I'm at the higher ranking of the majority in this country when it comes to anybody else besides the native people, the indigenous people. I'm not bragging. African Americans have the higher population. Go Wikipedia that. African um, American, go look at the map. I'm not telling you to read everything. Just look at those graphic literatures and you're going to see total population is 14.2%. And then you go to German American, that's the largest Euro population situated in the United States. They're at 13.6%. But see, all of the different countries in Europe, what they've done is they fooled you with with white identity. They've taken each of those countries, like with Germany, uh, Italy is 5.3%. Uh, is and I think Scotland was, uh, was a 3.6%. We have the Germans at 13.6%. Then that was... Uh, Italians was 5.3%. So what they're doing is they are adding the white population up from these very numbers from these specific groups that actually show their number. It's absolutely showing their number. Okay. So they got their self now at, let's see, they have the, that those few numbers I gave you gives uh, Europe the European population twenty percent of its white people. 20% of its white people. Now it's 53%, so how many other populations can you go down? I am talking about dissecting Americans in the United States and through their common groups, their populations of the countries that they had arrived from, their native countries. So that it comes out fair because that's what I'm getting these numbers from. Do you ever wonder where they get that number of 53% white, 12% black? Because see, it's unfair already that 
the African Americans aren't broken down into their uh, ethnicity groups because they don't know where they come from due to the the miserable thing that happened even though you wasn't born you're still living under that system of white supremacy you guys are the ones that not you specifically Europeans are the one that gave us a label black so that they could be white and then they said it's a race. That race is what I'm talking about. That 13.6 for the Germans, that 3.6 for the Scottish, and the 5.3 for the Italians are being added up and then all up under this white social construct. And what they used it as versus the African population. So they labeled us black versus white. It's black versus white instead of Europeans versus Africans. So this is where the system begins of colorism, racism, and discrimination. That this race was a race to lie that you're the majority. That's where they got that that 63% uh, or 72% white. No, they've added all of their country numbers up together to get to that majority. Race is a competition. They changed the meaning of what race is. Of course, you could go look it up and it's going to tell you it's going to fit their narrative. But come on now. Come on. Race, the term, doesn't even fit what they're saying it is. Other than that it's a competition here. We're in a race to the majority. So they called it race. The race to the majority was to conglomerate all Europeans under the label white versus the people that had been stolen from and kidnapped off their land are stranded here, stranded, although we are part of the fabric of this very country that you're calling yours and have been here longer. And the evidence of that is in the population number. 14.2% well, you know why it can't go higher? Because now they're not doing like they're doing with, uh, they're not doing us like they're doing themselves. When Europeans come into the country, they get added into the white number. But when Africans come into the country and they migrate and they become a citizen, they are not added to that 14.2 percent they leave them as okay nigeria doesn't make the percentage rate nigeria's population growth here looks like what we're seeing in europe it would be a number dropping not not increasing okay any other country you come here you start having babies it doesn't they're not going to count it with your original population. That number in your original population is dropping. And your numbers here will be much, much lower. And the population, as it should, because you're a migrant. We're all migrants, except for the African Americans, you know. So... Every, if, if you don't know history, look up European slavery because it's not called black history, Af African history. Look up European history with Africa and then you will see that slavery is European history. It's not black history. See, so the way that they're using words, if you look up, look up weasel words, go to... Google weasel words. 
They say things in a way that it flies over your head. But they know what they mean, but you didn't know what they meant. Like they're talking about population decline. You would think that affects the African Americans and the Latinos. It doesn't. It's only affecting this group. The European population. And it's worldwide. Go, go Google um, uh, European extinction. I want you to Google their propaganda terms. White genocide. I want you to look at the replacement theory. And you're going to see that it's talking about this, but they're using weasel words because they don't want certain groups of people to know this. This, what I'm doing right now, is called woke. The, our political parties over in this country, United States, the white supremacist party, are so against people having knowledge that they've changed the word, oh, they know too much, to their woke. And they're calling it wokeism. No, it's a wokeist. And we're wokeist. The wokeist. And ist means that it's a perfectionist. And ism is a disease. So it's not wokeism, it's wokeist. A perfectionist and 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 race uh, discrimination is a racist. You're a professional at being a racist. This. The other term is racism, the disease. The ism is the disease. The, the ist is the perfectionist. Have mastered it. The ism is the disease. So woke ism it's not a disease. Woke is not a disease. Racism is a disease. You can't say wokeism. You could say woke guest. Mean the more awake. They're more alert. They're more intelligent. Such as now. I would say I'm more intelligent in this particular topic because I'm bringing it to you and I'm showing this to you that Europe is dying. This is the decline of Europe. When you have the decline of Europe, the blood bank, the the mother nest, the, the, the nest egg that woman factors, that the woman having children that leaves Europe and become white. Well, white, if you were white, you would be dead. If I was black, I would be dead. Both of those are two uh, states of pigmentations that don't exist, that really don't exist. There's a brown and a darker, darker, darker brown and then there's a pale and there's a lighter pale. But through all of this are these blue and red foot vessels, organs in your body. All of those are the same pigmentation. At best, most of the way. The same body organs. So, by design, we are all homo sapiens. But even that, we had to uh, ascend to that. And that was through admixtures because we probably wouldn't see any uh, Europeans uh, the way they are today with the lighter skin, if not 
for the albinos that it was one of the consciousness moves for the Africans that the albino skin and eyes could not tolerate the, 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 sun, the sun rays that's closer to the equator. So they moved them farther out uh, above that 40 uh, degrees par parallel cycle at closer to the 45th parallel circle. <laughs> there were people coming into Africa that were Africans themselves. Some of a lot of them were albinos, and they would come and take those children away, and their parents would let them take them to go raise them in a lighter uh, hemisphere, a cooler hemisphere. But according to, and it's still true, it is that that African people will kill albinos because it's some type of sick racism disease that embodies those types of thinking to show you that man and mankind ain't shit because they're dark on the inside and then they use religion they use religion well uh, my god why didn't your god stop this why didn't your God actually give you this type of wisdom to be able to assimilate these things? Because when your focus is on greed, it's your so territorial. Oh, well, my, my ancestors took this country. This is my country. No, the fuck is not. You left your country, your ancestors. They left your country, and look what's happening to it. They left your continent. You are you have a continent. Europe is a continent with several different countries situated there. You left. Look what's happening. Because you know why this is happening? Because you're not claiming your mother blood. You want it to be white, and you erased years and years and years and years and years of maternal records you don't have the record it's very few records and that only record we could go to it's on Wikipedia when you google German American French American Norwegian American Italian American a good one is to look at Iceland American. Look at those little small countries. Finland Americans. There's a few of them here. Guess what? They're adding in all those macrophage of all, typing it all into one big number under white to get them to a 63% under whiteness. That's how the macrophage works. And then they sit there and they won't go against it. Well, when you're woke and you know this, you can just remove that thinking yourself. Remove the white. Remove the black. That's what you do. And then you thinking for yourself now. And now you're going to research the African population. You could even dissect them in their country to see how many of this group, this group, this group, this group, this group. The only, the, 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 the mouth, the, the malfactoring of that is that all of those millions and millions and millions and millions of people that were kidnapped against their will and taken to other parts of the world, you will see a lower population. All of throughout all of this, England has a large, Europe has a large population also of African slave ancestry from the people they enslaved, okay? the same thing here and you can't 
the, the, the thing with the what happening they could probably trace their genetic halo groups quicker than we can from the word of mouth narratives and pointing them back to periods of time that they would be able to get some answers out of those period of time. Well, that's called being woke, researching, studying, gaining knowledge. It's being woke. When you're asleep, you don't want to see that, that 789 turn to 788. And then 787. Then 786. You just turn your head and act like you didn't know what that was. And you're, you, you're acting like you don't see the fall of your genome. Alexa, listen. I get mad at you guys for this. I don't hate anybody. I get mad at you being for being so illiterate and thinking that you're so smart. I grew up around you guys. I didn't get my knowledge from you though. There's ways to reverse it, but it's not by forcing women to have children. Stopping abortion is only going to make, give the opportunity because the knowledge is there, the clinical knowledge is there. You can't stop abortion because people are going to create underground abortion clinics. You didn't see that as murder before when it was targeting other populations. In fact, it's still stable now. And I, I am against abortion being used for birth control. But the rationale here in intelligence is that sometimes abortions are necessary, clinically necessary, to save the woman's life. So, the controversy didn't come into perspective until they start seeing that it was necessary to, to take out abortion because of what you see in right now. They know this. The Supreme Courts know it. The, the Democratic Party know it. The Republican Party know it. The intelligence agencies know it. But if they were going to come and tell you rawly what's going on and the, what's, that was actually occurring, do you remember Donald Trump didn't want to tell us that COVID-19 was as bad as it was and it was killing people because they couldn't be proactive. There was nothing we could do with that little bit of knowledge. And then the people that came out to give some rationale, Dr. Fossey and the World Health Organization, because it was his failure of not listening, 
and trying to cover it up to try to make it seem like he has such a great time in being the president, which was a lot of the same things that he was doing in his business, fraud. The first thing he started coming in, snapping executive orders, fraudulent executive orders. The guy wasn't really elected. He, it's come out now, the 2016 election. That was uh, related to, that was related to election interference, paying off Stormy Daniels because people would have had a different opinion and they wouldn't have voted for Donald Trump, okay? Right now they became stool pigeons. That any any type of shit that he shats out, he can shat on it and the pig, pigeons are stand in the shit. Stool pigeons, standing in the shit pot with Donald Trump. All because of this, they don't want to tell you why. Talking about civil wars, a civil war, why? Because of this, because this is happening in the United States, Canada, all over Europe, South Africa, where any of the Euro populations are situated. It's happening there too. Jew will not replace us. Jews will not replace us. White genocide, the replacement theory, all embody this right here. What you're seeing right here. So I wanted you to see this and I may sound like I'm angry. Well, I am angry with you guys. I'm angry at, at that, that you would be so to the point that you would fall for the propaganda. That you would fall for that propaganda. And that you're living under that guise right now of what you're calling your forefathers. I would tell you in my, this day and time that in order for you to say that this country is yours based on your forefathers that you would need a DNA test to prove that you are part of those people that come here first. Because from my educational level, mass migration began 1872, 1870-ish, after the 14th Amendment was put into place, into law. And that they were going to umbrella this under this white, fake population. Uh, mass, mi mass migration was up and people coming from certain parts of Europe. And when other part people arrived here from Europe, they were pointed fingers at, discriminated against, not only because their drink color to their skin, but their religious, religions, the part of the country they had come from. So they've done this to each other too until they could figure out if we all get together and say we're white, we can dominate this country. If we could just all agree to to come and vote everybody out, we could turn this into ours. And that's the cricket wicked system right there. What they didn't expect was diversity. They hate it. They hated that, they didn't like it when the, what they so-called the blacks and whites were socializing. When the Europeans and the Africans were socializing, they didn't like it. You were called names like Inger Lover, or Eager, Eager, E-I-G-G-E-R, European, N-I-G-G-E-R, Black. Oh, you couldn't love each other. Because they were so against that. Same thing with religion. There's three Abrahamic religions. All of them have an Abraham, meaning that Abraham is really, you know, their that common name. What is it common that is based on is theo, theology. 
they all have Jesus in their book. The 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 Jewish deny uh, 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 the the house of Judah. They're not Jewish. That's Ju Judah is not a people. Judah didn't bring forth the life to the Jews. Judah was a man, and they decided to turn their their population into Jewism, which was a religion. So, and met, notice I said ism. They are absolutely Europeans that have been disowned because of their association. Okay. So, those are false, false representations. And they're, they're so detached that they are not counted as part of the European population and don't want to be either. So, that's not a choice of theirs, though. They definitely have European blood. They could call it Gardic or whatever. They come from this tribe and that tribe and this tribe. And that's not true, Alexa, resume. So, that's not true either. They're absolutely Europeans. They're just more organized, older, uh, and organizing and taking over things than the other groups of Europeans. When you, when you ask the Jews, where did you get your language Hebrew from? And they will point you to the hieroglyphs. Well, the hieroglyph is not the name of that particular rock. You know the saying that, uh, that the truth is written on down? Well, that particular what they're calling the hieroglyphs is called the metgenetor. Metu means word, and netter means God. Those terms were used before all of these languages. So when the Jews say they got it from the hieroglyphs, they got it from the metgenetor, their knowledge, their language. What it is, if it's, it's a history on that too. The Jews are European. That's all I'm going to say. But they go back in time. They do. Okay. And I actually appreciate the ones that are good lawyers. I do. Okay. So. That's just another social construct as well. Religion is used as a social construct also. To brainwash people to dedicate their lives to a religious doctrine that most people can't live under those doctrines. People that live a very simple life may be able to ascertain some of those things in their way of life, but uh, it doesn't fit the modern world to sit back as, you know, be burning fire, making a fire when you have a Air, uh, 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 automatic uh, pushed air heater or air conditioner. You know, it just doesn't make sense to sit there in the heat when you can turn on the air conditioner. But those advancements came from the several people, not one group of people. Europeans, another thing you like to do is take credit for everything. Or you can take credit for anything. Because look, you can't even, those that don't even have the acuity to survive the planet. And I'm not saying that to hurt your feelings. I'm putting it back in your face, the stuff that you've been saying, all those lies and stuff. You're going to need us. You, you, you have to use us to, not use us, you need us to help you fix this problem. How else are you going to save yourselves? See, the, 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 the Euro male acts like his bloodline. That's not his bloodline. It's 
the female haligoops bloodline. Okay? They 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 uh they lose their haligoops every time they uh, impregnate a woman from out of their mother's haligoop. So, you know the the male piece in this has nothing to do with uh, the bloodlines. That's why women have to stand up for their bloodlines. And that, you need to teach your children they're not white. Women. Women need to teach their children that they're not white. Because women are not up from the, the world of man. Man comes from the world of the womb of woman. And they have turned against their mothers as well. It's historically noted. Why Why would you have to be white? Why couldn't you use French or Italian or German or Dutch, American? That's a male construct. It was a lie. <coughs> They had to lie so that you could be in the race towards the majority. And doing so, you failed because now your motherland doesn't have you to represent as her bloodlines anymore because you've chosen self-identity. I didn't choose to be called a black or black or the anger or the savage. You guys are good at doing that nasty stuff. You're doing it every day still. Okay. I'm African. I'm African. I'm on that, that Richter scale that moving up the population I still represent Africa the the my Halle group is doing beautiful the Asian Halle groups are doing beautiful what they're looking at is Asia has such a big much larger population that declining see because they started going with that um, conservation story that they were being pitched from Europe Europeans and they went to have one child China you could only have one child because of their population growth not knowing that the more the more Asians it is that that's the majority the majority the most the more of you it is they could come with their wars or whatever. They did it to us. They told us that we were a conquered people. Well, if I feel like, if I was a conquered people, why am I here? Why am I here? You did not conquer my people, you killed them. Conquer means to kill. And when you could go around the world and kill people and think now that you're in a position of being the smallest group that's going to control the largest group, which is the diversity, this will start to happen. Because somewhere in here you think you're bigger than the universe. See, there's been other species that were up on the planet that was destroying life. The dinosaurs. They didn't fit the planet. So, they were destroying the planet. And nature absolved them. Okay. When you're doing things to hurt the planet it's not people that's hurting you or working on you that infrared 
energy, that karma is coming from the universe that put everything here. Okay? And I'm going to say, fuck your feelings. Because it has nothing to do with religion, IQ, all of this stuff. It really has to do with the acuity to vibe the planet. It's not about material things. Okay? It's about surviving this planet. And I think that we were all put here to survive the planet, all of us. But when man turned against man and mankind, you see these type of things happening to their tribes, just as what happened to the dinosaurs and the Anderthal and the rhinos. There's still rhinos, but they have no population. There will still be Europeans. But look, they won't have any population. So the land that they're saying are theirs, it looks like they won't be here. Just like Donald Trump is going to prison. It looks like that. But I'm not saying it in that they won't be there. He won't be there to be the president. You won't be here to be a president if this continues. If this continues. That's why I'm mad at you guys. I'm mad at you not because of so much of, of the white identity failure and the, the harm to the carnage that you did as a gang. You got together as gangs and thugs and wolves to do what you did under whiteness. And this is the result. You know, you do bad things and bad come back to you. Is there a way to clean it up? Well, what cleaning this up would be doing dirty things to you because that would involve polygamy, not polygamy, yeah, not polygamy. It would be, yeah, polygamy, more than one marriage at the same time for the willing female, okay, to have your children. But continue the continuation of white identity it's going to spill over like milk. It's going to just spill out and spoil like milk. Like it already has because that's what we're seeing now. Alexa, we too. That's what I'm seeing now. It's like you got spoiled milk. And so you have to pour it out. Okay? Because you cannot consume it. There's only way that you can, only one way you can fix it. It's not by abortion. It's, it's, uh, it's not illegal to have children with more than one person. But they would have to be willing to work as a, uh, a group. If that's how they want to do it. I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, we looked against polygamy and sister wives and stuff because it was such an ancient uh, thing. But even in your book of the Bible, it talks about the men building these nations uh, and having children and having concubines. Okay? So that's the only way you're going to fix the population. That should be more important than money. Because as we've been sitting here, it's almost an hour. We've watched that number decline. I didn't write the number down. I let you see it for yourself. I let, I, I let you see this for yourself. Go pull it up. Your population uh, live. Worldometer. The 
okay? You can use the worldometer for any country. The problem with the United States is the diversity of people here. So you have to go to like Wikipedia and break down these groups, these these people country by country from their European representation. And you'll see that's where they, they lied and got that 62% under white. It's a lie. It's the white lie. Learn how to figure things out. Why would they say white lie? It's like confusing. White lie. What's a white lie? That's the white lie. The race is to competition. The race to the majority. their eyes. There's nothing wrong with being awake. Woke. There's nothing wrong with waking up. It's never too late to wake up. Wake up. Stop the wokeism shit. Get real. Prove. Prove your IQ. Because right now, it looks like the acuity to survive the planet is not by war, it's by procreation. It's by creation. Okay? So, we are watching the fall of Europe. Am I mad at you guys? I'm mad at you for not recognizing this instead of yelling white genocide and replacement theory that you should have been actually telling people about this. You have had secret meetings on this. They're recorded on YouTube, a lot of them. They're even having these types of talks on social media. But there's a lot of his propagandists in there. You, I'm showing you the, what's really going on and what a lot of this is all be about. So that you can make the a conscious, woke, uh, alert oriented decision on how you're going to really assimilate this type of information without anger and coming up with the correct rationales of fixing it. And polygamy might be the only way out from my intellectual perspective. So I don't know, you would say, oh, she's got such a low IQ. But I know that I don't. That's the only way you could do it. It's not by war. It's by having babies. Lots of them. And you can't just use that racism shit no more. Because you don't want people to use that against you. The, all this stuff that's been going on. Some of the most nasty, disgusting people. But some of the most sweeting and sweet and loving people. That's not part of that part of the disgusting ones. It's because of them. It's because of them. That I have no heart feelings. And I educated enough to educate myself and do some research. Anyway, peace and love. Have a great day. But do go look up the worldometer so that uh, you can see this for yourself and share it with others on a positive vein.
Peace and love to you. Bye-bye.